you already know what it is, man. Shout out to every single one of y'all. She man, Vita Fly, tell you mama I said hi. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my brother Showtime SP and everybody who watches this content. Whether religiously or in passing, it's Sunday. Uh, football's on. Not if you're a Giants fan, you know what I'm saying? We are fucking horrible, so I'm not even going to mention that. But shout out to all the other teams out there, you know what I'm saying? Got going on what y'all got going on. But, you know, I watch, but nowadays I watch the game on the phone, you know what I'm saying? Losers get watched on the phone, the winners watch games on TV, you know what I'm saying? Like, so the other people in my family, like the people in my family who like other teams, they're winning, we put them on the screen. I watch the uh, Daniel Jones and the Losers on my cell phone. But anyway, um, if you don't know, uh, ARP had an interview with Hitman Holly. The problem with Smack is, bro, yo, Smack, you gotta stop fucking hating, bro. Like, for real, because this shit's starting to get old because, first of all, nigga, you ain't booked me since 2018. So every time we seeing you in front of these cameras, you mad and you angry because whatever the re or the return of investments you booking over that not working. That ain't got nothing to do with Hitman, bro. So when you get in front of these cameras and and, and, and basically slap you in my face talking about, oh, I wasn't even entertaining there. They got to make sense. What got to make sense, Smack? Tell me what exactly got to make sense booking Hitman Holler. You ain't booked me since 2018. I done had five, six big stages that all did $100,000 at the door. I done did 10,000 plus pay-per-views on multiple occasions on two, three different leagues, bro. Stop telling niggas it got to make sense. The niggas you book got to make sense, bro. I done still supported you. I done came to your events, stood on stage, stood in front of niggas. I act like I'm finna battle them and show love. Every time they talking about me in front of these cameras, you trying to, you got an attitude. Yesterday, and I did say uh, that when it comes to Hitman, Averb, all of the back and forth beef and stuff like that. If it ain't nothing that's really groundbreaking or nothing that's said that makes me say, oh shit, let, let, let me holler at y'all about that, I usually just let it go day by day, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like never ending saga. Like, I seen Verb start at Spaces while Hitman Hollow was live with ARP. It didn't even, it didn't even finish yet. So, this is non stop repetitive drama, so I just let it be what it is. But in Hitman's interview, with ARP, he did talk about a lot of different things. And I did like, not gonna lie, I like some of the questions. I text ARP. While the Joe was going, I was like 15 minutes in. I text him, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you see we get the win. Shout out to Itchy Bomb Brims. I told y'all about Itchy Bomb Brims, which is a hat company out of Hawaii. Military dude, you know what I'm saying? I met through Instagram. He sent me some stuff, sent FSP some stuff. I told y'all I was gonna be rocking some more of the Itchy Bomb joint. So shout out to Itchy Bomb Brims. And shout out to my brother Showtime SP. So. In this interview I'm watching, I see ARP, he does a great job of questioning Hitman Holla about certain things because normally questions, and you know this when you like do interviews and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I've done a couple in my life. Um, when you ask a person a question and they give you an answer, but the answer doesn't fully encompass the whole statement as to what you were asking them, he does a good way of interjecting and asking, you know, follow-up questions. He's a very great follow-up question ask, asker. And ARP is good at, if you answer your own question, he'll tell you you answered your own question. So, he asked him a question that said, why is the, where's the presence of the St. Louis artist on his card? Whether it be, he named a bunch of people and then, you know, Hitman said he was gonna have Green Ranger on it, shout out to Green Ranger and everything that he does, but then ARP interjects with like, <laughs> Green Ranger is not the only rapper from St. Louis and then he names Oops and MVP and Young Ill and all these other folks and then um, Hitman had an interesting answer in correspondence to why uh, Young Ill wasn't on the card. He said, you know, Ill is closer to Verb and now that that relationship is fractured, he doesn't know where him and Ill stands but it just wasn't a call made and then, you know, he just listed why all the other MCs weren't on the card. But, <laughs> let's get to what you're here for. He addressed Smag White. And he was going in as far as smack hating on what he's got going on. Now cameras and and and, and basically slapped me in my face talking about oh, I wasn't even entertaining there. They gotta make sense. What gotta make sense, Smack? Tell me what exactly gotta make sense booking Hitman Holler. You ain't booked me since 2018. I done had five, six big stages that all did a hundred thousand dollars at the door. I done did ten thousand plus pay-per-views on multiple occasions on two, three different leagues, bro. Stop telling niggas it gotta make sense. The niggas you book gotta make sense, bro. I done still supported you. I done came to your events, stood on stage, stood in front of niggas. I act like I'm finna battle them and show love. Every time they talking about me in front of these cameras, you trying to, you got an attitude. I don't get that, bro.
Show love. So when, so, so, when, so, when, so when he said, so when he said, if it's here's the thing, right? When you own a business like how URL is, URL came up, they seen everything that's going on. They helped build, they built the infrastructure of battle rap, et cetera, et cetera. Had a bunch of main stage events, big stage events. But there have been a series of things in URLs past, like in the couple past year or so, that have, you know, shook up shit. Whether it be Norb's lawsuit, whether it be them separating from caffeine, the money in here, son, whether it's fucking uh, Sue Surf not being here, free Sue Surf. Uh, and it's been some shakeup, you know what I mean? Like, it's been some shakeup in the ground. The app, things like that, and then fans' complaints. So, uh, Hitman starts to go in on Smack, basically saying, them niggas that you booking, you, you, you getting mad at me, but the niggas that you booking ain't selling. Now, here's the thing. We've said this, and this has been said in a bunch of different blogs before. I don't feel like URL is going to return to big prominence until Sue Surf is home, because they don't have a lead, they don't have a face. Who is the face that can sell tickets, that can talk for the brand, that can go back and forth with people? That that was all, everything that Sue Surf did, <laughs> everything that Surf was doing on a day-to-day -day basis was taken away when he got you know locked up, unfortunately. Um, Free Sue Surf, I see, they could rise right back to prominence. His first battle, I'm sure it's gonna make enough biscuits to do, make bread to, for the whole projects, B. It'll make enough bread to bake biscuits for the whole projects, I'm sure it will. But, hey man was going in. He was like, he talked about the Tay Rock situation. He said basically, uh, when it came to Tay Rock and Easy, you know what I'm saying? Like, Hitman wanted to book that battle and have that battle happen. And Rock was basically saying that he don't want to make no money with Easy. Now, you got to understand, like, some people are acting like this is some big fallacy as to why Rock doesn't want to battle Easy. Rock is mad loyal to URL, you know what I'm saying? He's probably the most loyal artist to URL, I could say. He ain't about to help somebody that he knows Smack don't fuck with get money. He's just not gonna do that. Like he won't do that. He's not gonna go against his loyalty to their brand. And there's nothing wrong with that. You loyal to a brand, that's who you work for, that's who you get money with, that's your man. He ain't fucking with it. So he's not gonna help Easy get any money. But in theory, Hitman looks at it like, yo, this nigga hate Easy so much, he's not even willing to come over here and get no money. Especially in an era where Artists are battling everywhere. You seen like some niggas is battling like they bat just people just battling on King of the Die. Other artists is battling on the Power Moves car. You done had some battle out there in um Black Mafia Battle League. Like they artists is moving around more so than ever. Now, um, why is this happening? The battles that are getting booked. URL's not booking them. They're not booking Big K. They're not booking Twerk versus Big K. They're not booking uh, Big K versus uh, Tay Rock and all of these bigger battles that are happening on other platforms. So what I'm saying <laughs> you, is, yo, yo, you know what? You, you a Cassidy face off. I appreciate you, man. So, but so what I'm saying <laughs> is, when he get on these cameras, don't be scared to disrespect them. Disrespect them niggas you booking. Stop disrespecting me. Like you disrespecting me for no reason. Don't ever tell me I don't make sense because you ain't gonna bet none in your pocket that I can't prove you that I make sense when you book Hitman Holler. Go ask Remy. I just, I battled on Remy on Chrome Anniversary for the first time in 2023. Go ask her was I in the green with her. ARP booked me back to back to back to back. Go ask him as I'm in the green. And you can't stop somebody from getting money when you ain't got a viable option for them. And they can't say, yo, you can't take him over there, but. I got nothing for you, but you still can't take them over. They're going to go over there and do it anyway. But Hitman was basically in his bag. He said, if you book hit, if you book Hitman, you don't have to change the venue. That's the, that's the I'm going to be honest with you, that's the running perspective online. I know you are saying the weather, the weather, the weather. But I don't really know many, and I haven't heard of many, and I didn't know a bunch of niggas that was going to New Orleans anyway. If you just want to be honest, like in, in years past, when Summer Madness has been in cities like a Houston or a New York or wherever the case may be, you hear a lot of people online talking about it. Oh, I'm getting ready. I'm, people is talking. Internet is the streets. The internet streets. Niggas talk. I didn't know a single person that hit me like, yo, I'm, I'm on my way to N.O. N.O. We on the way. Nah. Only Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good Lord. <laughs> you, I, the you know what I'm saying? So... I don't feel like this event was selling out. And what's the reason for it? There would have been literally no reason for this event to sell out. It's males versus females. I mean, how many times have we seen males versus females? And then the craziest shit about it is, 
the niggas who was on the card didn't even know it was Summer Madness. <laughs> Rock, if you watch Rock and Jazz face off in like the first two minutes, they're like, oh, this Summer Madness? Oh, I ain't even know that. So, hey yo, what the fuck? If the artists don't know it's Summer Madness, how the fuck is the fans gonna know it's Summer Madness? So Hitman Holler continues to go in. He's basically saying that every single stage that he stepped on has made money, you know what I'm saying? And that's the thing about these investments. Some of these artists do cost a lot of money, but some of them do return on investment. And pretty much any league owner that I spoke about, about when it comes to what Hitman's able to do and the numbers that he brings, they always in the green. Remy, he's in the green. ARP, he's in the green. Any other league that he steps on, He's bringing people through the door. He's selling pay-per-views. His face-off versus Cassidy did three million. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, we can't even talk about numbers with Hitman because that's what he does. Like, he's just one of those super, super mega stars. He did talk about the verb situation and what he could have done differently and things like that. The only thing I would draw back and take from it is when Hitman says things like, we gonna pull up, you know what I'm saying? And he said... <laughs> Here's what, I'm gonna tell you where Hitman fucked me up at. He said, uh, we pull up, we gonna pull up on you, we not gonna jump you, we, it would just be a bunch of us around you and if me and you get into a fight, we not letting nigga, y'all niggas are some fucking liars cause I seen when y'all pulled up fucking nigga before. All of that organized, we just gonna do this, no, y'all jump that nigga at the gas station. That's the reason why he be in the car with Verb all the time talking his shit, cause y'all jumped him at the gas station at, at, an, at an event. So, the, the whole we could just pull up on you and we could have a conversation and we could, nah, 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 y'all niggas don't do that, y'all niggas jump niggas. And I ain't gonna hold you, where I'm from, if I'm with 5, 10, 15 of my niggas and something pop off, they probably gonna jump you. And there's really no control in it because guess what? The people that you are with are there to protect you. They're not there to protect other people. Literally, there's some niggas that if you bring around, you know, oh, man, I can't take Tyshawn to this event, man. Tyshawn like a goddamn fool. You can, you can write them off in your mind. But when you bring them, you know what they're there for. Everybody got homeboys that don't give a shit about no battle rap. They're only there to protect their dog. And if some shit pop off, they're gonna jump in. So that was weird. Hey man, when you <laughs> when you said that shit about we could just pull up on you and we could have a conversation, we not having no conversation with no niggas that we saw jump a nigga on camera before. I ought to take a water break. We can't do that, hey man. You know, your uh, your 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 fair one credibility goes out the window when we see you jump a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's your handle. You play ball, right? You play ball, my nigga. Don't you play ball, nigga? We know your handle. We know it. We know your handle. Oh, he ain't going left. He ain't gonna leave him open. Leave him. Leave him open. We know the niggas who we can leave open. He's with us. We said that's what we used to say back in the day. He with us. Nigga missed that shot four times. He with us. Leave him open. We leave you open. Cause we. We get this weak shit from nigga. <laughs> so yeah, that was that definitely was uh was left. But overall. Uh, they did mention some things that were true. Um, when artists are having different cards and shit like that, anything but congratulations, anything but, you know what I'm saying, yo, y'all niggas do y'all numbers, get to it, whoop de whoop de whoop it's hate. If it ain't congratulations, it sound like hate. If it ain't congratulations, it sound like hate. Because like, what Nipsey? Nigga, you heard that motherfucking Kendrick and Nipsey back in the days, nigga. Come on, son, we know. Um, but ARP, for a nigga to be retired, you very active. You are very, when is Max out for, nigga? When the fuck is Max out for, nigga? You might as well come right back outside and throw another card, nigga. We don't, I don't give a shit. If you say you ain't retired tomorrow, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Battle rap needs rare breed entertainment. Battle rap needs all of these leagues. And the reason why is because I've mentioned it before. It is an equal system. One league will do something, another league will do something. Another league will do something, another league will do something. And it helps keep battle rap afloat. I've said before, this is probably the driest battle rap summer Ever. Summer Madness is happening in this fall. SP called it the fall ball. I call it King Queen. I don't know what this shit is. So, and then other leagues, you know what I'm saying? Whenever leagues, multiple leagues are doing good, it helps out. It gives us content. It's provocative. It gives us shit to watch. It gives us shit to talk about. I don't blog every single day anymore for what? There ain't shit to talk about. What are we going to continue to do? Drive the same subjects every fucking day? No, especially when there ain't nothing going on. You know what I mean? So, Interviews, 
like um, ARPs with Hitman, which were very, which was very provocative. It did drive thoughts. And I was gonna take notes, but I didn't even need to because I heard it. I heard it one time. I said, oh, that's what the issue is. Um, when it comes to Hitman and Verb, I do wish that they would have solved their shit online. I do wish that they would have, you know what I'm saying, took that shit offline, I say. I mean, offline, handle your business. Niggas know so much each other, about each other, where each other's from, this person, that person, cousins, uncles, aunties, nieces. Niggas should have solved that shit offline. Um, Hitman also did mention that Smack hasn't booked him since 2018, so what gotta make sense? The niggas that you booking gotta make sense, and it's true. I've said it before, the reason why a lot of these events aren't going crazy is the promotion is down. Niggas do not, nigga, these niggas do not, who's promoting Summer King, Queen, Man, or whatever this shit, there ain't nobody. Who's promoting, who's really out there promoting? Who's feet to the pedal? Who's doing recaps? Who's doing blog? Who's doing, no, 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 ain't nobody, niggas ain't doing that shit. <laughs> niggas are not doing it. If I don't recap it, who else will? You know what I'm saying? And they be events sometimes I don't even give a shit about seeing, but I recap them because I know that there's people out there who want to see them. Back in the days, recaps used to be a heavy, heavy thing. A event go by now, niggas will go two, three days. Like, man, well, shit, we'll talk about it when we get to it. Not just me, but a lot of motherfuckers because the feeling ain't there. I talk to other niggas who do blogs and shit like that. They be like, man, I get to it tomorrow. I'm out. Man, I'm out with the fam. I, I put the headphone in and listen to it. That's not what battle rap was. Battle rap used to be when an event come on, you block that whole Saturday off, that whole Sunday off. I don't block no whole Sundays off of battle rap no more. If an event is on, AirPod, I hear what's up. Unless I'm there, you know what I'm saying? If I'm there, it's a different story, um, and et cetera, et cetera. But Hitman was in his motherfucking bag. He basically told Smack, you need to stop hating. You know what I mean? But he did talk about the oversaturation portion too. Finally, as far as uh, artists being oversaturated, it happens everywhere. And Hitman did have a good rebuttal. He said the face of URL, Tay Rock done battled nine times this year. You know what I'm saying? And he probably got four more battles coming up too. But the leagues don't put the artists in position to where they don't have to battle 10 times a year. Niggas be having to do that shit. I be talking to different artists, you know what I'm saying? Not Rock. Rock is, you know, he's focused on winning the belt, so he gonna do that. But other artists, them niggas be having to battle like a job. Like shit, oh shit, the rent's coming up. Got a battle on the 24th. Boom, 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 and they battle like every fucking month. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what y'all thought. You know what I'm saying? Y'all peep the Hitman Holla interview with ARP. You know what I'm saying? I did grab a couple clips out of it because that's just what the fuck I do. And uh, shout out to every single one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it was definitely kind of spicy, but uh, you know we like we like spicy around here. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't <laughs> keep it keep it all the way raw. Uh, shout out to Hitman Holla again. Oh, uh, he has his power moves card going down November 9th. He's got, uh, you know what I'm saying, four. I've seen four battles on there so far. And he's going to do numbers, you know what I'm saying? He sells, so it's not, you don't got an issue with selling. You know what I mean? But uh, it is what it is. Uh, he was definitely in his bag, and he told basically Smack, stop hating. Other than that, shout out to every single one of y'all. I'm out this bitch. Da, 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 da.